crossing through the occupied city, the bard eventually found his way to the local pub, which somehow he always seemed to do. The Aiken Drum was the popular hangout of drunks, the unemployed, and reprobates who made their living on the streets. The bard, of course, felt right at home. Welcome, friend. I'd heard ye'd come to Doonby. Many in the city have. It's been many a winter since a man's come out of the north on his own two feet, and not in a pine box. I noticed I seem to be quite popular with the locals. Aye. The princess knew ye'd have to pass through here on your way to your next stop, so she had me waiting in this godforsaken city to lend you a helping hand. You've been a great help so far, let me tell you. Nobody likes a smart-ass son. I couldn't have helped you get past them patrols. Those druids have been tearing the city apart looking for you. They'd like nothing better than to stop you from freeing Our Lady. They'd have done for me easily. Of course, of course. Well then, what kind of help can you actually lend me? I can help you out with a bit of information. There's a man lives west of here. Goes by the name of McGrath. He's the caretaker of the Shadow Axe. And you'll need it to get into the next tower. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I rescue his cat, or steal him a gem, or find his long-lost betrothed, I'll get the drill. Everyone wants a piece of the bard. <sighs> Ugh. It's a cynical man ye are. But maybe that's what kept you alive this long. McGrath is one of us, lad. He's keeping the axe for you. All you have to do is go get it from him. Don't suppose you could have had it waiting here for me? And risk it falling into the hands of these druids? That would truly be daft of us. It's a big enough risk I take meeting you here. Use your head for thinking and not just yapping. That actually makes sense. But I can do without the lip. Remember, I'm your saviour. Get your arse out of here, and head to Greenlands to find McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> 